Hi, boys and girls, it's Miss Hannah with this week's Bible Time. Let's go ahead and start with our I Am Special song. I am special, I am special. Look and see, look and see. I am very special, I am very special. God loves me, God loves me. All right, boys and girls. Last week, um, we were talking about the Old Testament, and now we're going to jump way ahead because it is Christmas time. And at Christmas season, an Advent, that means when we're looking forward to Jesus coming, we talk about all of what happened before Jesus came and before he was born. And we remember all that he did for us. Now, when Jesus was, even before he was born, there were some amazing things that happened. And today we're going to talk about one of them. There we go. (laughs) All right. Now, this week in our story, we are talking about Mary. Now, Mary was a very young woman who... Um, lived on her own with her family. And one day, an angel came to her. It was the angel Gabriel. And Gabriel said to her, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Now, Mary, she was kind of surprised and she was kind of worried because she had never seen an angel before. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great, and he will be the son of the Most High. He will reign on the throne of his father David forever, and his kingdom will never end. Now, when Gabriel was saying all of these things, that meant that Jesus was going to be the Savior who would take away the sins of the whole world. And he was the Savior that was promised a long, long time ago when Adam and Eve sinned. That was when the very first promise of Jesus coming um, was made. Now, Mary, she was thinking about these things. She said, how can this be? I am not married. And I am not, I am um, not have not had children. Now the angel answered her, the Lord will give you your son and the Holy Spirit will be with you and he will help you to have this son. There is nothing that is impossible with God. Now Mary, she believed all these words in her heart and she said to the angel, I am the Lord's servant. May it be to me as you have said. And Mary was ready to be the mother of Jesus and to be um, the one who would bring the Savior into the world. But then the angel left her. And soon after the angel came, Mary married a man named Joseph. And they waited for the very perfect time for baby Jesus to be born. And we're going to talk about that in our Christmas stories and in our Christmas program. We're going to share that message. And I can't wait for that to happen. It is so important for us to remember that Jesus came and was born to be here for us, to save us. Now, our memory treasure this week um, talks about um, one of the parts of our story. When Gabriel said, give him the name Jesus. That is our memory treasure. Give him the name Jesus. And we learned a new song this week too. It went like this. God has sent an angel to earth from heaven above to share some special news to tell about God's love. You will have a baby, Jesus is his name. The Son of God is born, praise his holy name. Let's say that one more time. God has sent an angel to earth from heaven above to share some special news and tell about God's love. You will have a baby, Jesus is his name. The Son of God is born, praise his holy name. All right, boys and girls, let's go ahead and get out our prayer hands. Put some syrup on it. 
cut it up and squish it together. Dear Jesus, thank you for coming to earth um, to take away all of my sins. Help me to remember this Christmas that it is all about you and your birth. No matter how many presents I get, the best present I have ever been given is you. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. These words are written that we may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. All right, boys and girls, you have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Bye.